there is some huge new news in bariatric surgery. A report came out in late 2017 showing that bariatric surgery can reduce cancer rates in people who have surgery. Who would have thought, right? Well, let's back up for a second. I'm Dr. John Pilcher. I'm a bariatric surgeon in San Antonio, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the details of this study and what it means for patients who suffer from obesity. First of all, this idea of bariatric surgery reducing cancer rates is not entirely new. There have been a couple of reports in the past showing that bariatric surgery improves lifespan for people who suffer from obesity, and those reports have also implied that there is a reduction in cancer rates. This new study captured large amounts of data and is statistically quite powerful. The researchers found the health records for over 22,000 patients who had undergone bariatric surgery, and they matched those 22,000 patients with about 66,000 health records of individuals who also suffered from the same levels of obesity but who had not undergone bariatric surgery. They followed these people in their health records for three and a half years from the surgical date, and over that three and a half year period, in the entire group of 88,000 patients, they found 2,453 new incidences of cancer. The big news from the study was that they found that the bariatric surgical group had a 33% lower rate of cancer. Now, the next natural question that comes up is, well, how does this work? How does bariatric surgery reduce cancer rates? Well, there are theories about it, and this research study wasn't designed to answer that question specifically, but the idea is that the occurrence of obesity, the strain that obesity puts on the body, creates an upregulation of the inflammatory system. And that upregulation of the inflammatory system not only causes total body pain, but it also interferes with the immune system. And the immune system is an important part of the body's ongoing monitoring and fighting against cancer cells. Uh, C cells are always reproducing inside the body, and sometimes this goes wrong. And one of the jobs of the immune system is to recognize when that goes wrong before it gets too far along. If there is some process like the obesity inflammation that interferes with the immune system, then cancers can escape detection until they grow to a significant degree. An interesting implication of this study is that cancer reduction may become even more effective over time. This is because the researchers looked at the first three and a half years after bariatric surgery was done for each of these patients, and since cancers most often take years and years to grow, the odds are good that some of these cancers were started even before the surgery took place, and so bariatric surgery did not have the opportunity to prevent those cancers. In other words, we can reasonably expect that the benefits of bariatric surgery are going to increase over time and that people will have less and less obesity-related cancers. The results of this study were even more impressive for the subset of cancers that are especially associated with obesity. So, to be specific, in this study, the researchers found a 42% risk reduction in breast cancer rates, a 41% risk reduction for colon cancer, a 50% reduction for endometrial cancer. That means the bariatric patient population had half of the percentage of endometrial cancer as the study population, the control population, and a 54% reduction in pancreatic cancer rates. This is huge. Now, I think it's important to think about this in a slightly different way. It's not exactly the case that bariatric surgery is reducing cancer rates from normal levels. Really, it's the case that the obesity disease causes elevated rates of cancer. Obesity puts strain on the body every day. And of course, we know about diabetes and high blood pressure and joint destruction. And it also turns out that obesity causes increased rates of cancer for the people who suffer from this problem. And so what bariatric surgery should be doing, and what it seems to be doing in this case, is helping these people return to normal health and normal life. So when we talk about cancer rates, we're getting these cancer rates down to the normal level in comparison to the elevated rates from obesity. Of course, this is exciting news, and it's a validation for people who have already been through bariatric surgery or who are contemplating it seriously. I hope this raises awareness for those who think that um, managing the obesity problem ought to just be a matter of sole personal responsibility. Um, yes, uh, patients should go through diet and exercise, and they should manage lifestyle as best they can, um, but we're dealing with a very serious problem here that may have serious consequences, and um, the obesity disease is just one of those many medical conditions that responds better when intervention is early. Early intervention leads to lower risk and better outcomes. Thanks for tuning in. In health, John Pilcher.